Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly with Ira. Dr. Kelly's perspective for in Saturday. His element. In his element, in his realm, where he is king. Okay, so last weekend we um, were talking and someone, and Ira asked um, for areas that you want to see worked on and someone mentioned about waste, the waistline. So as a matter of fact, let me just say, because I, I, again, I do not think I'm the only one who thinks this. A few moments ago, he said, okay, we're gonna work abs. And I said, no, 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 we're gonna work, it's supposed to be the waistline. And you said? Abs, abs is the waistline. Okay. From the, from the, from the, below, below, below the pelvic, up to the below the chest, and the obliques. Okay. I, I, when I thought waist, I thought waist, like your little, this little thing. Hey, mother. Hey, mother. Okay, so I am too far away to be reading comments. She'll come I'm back and be, forth. I'm going to be working. What we're going to do is, it should be, what is it going to, like a solid, almost like a solid movie. I'm going to take it, I'm going to take her through uh, several exercises, just showing you a couple of exercises that you can do to develop your stomach. Just remember that there's three muscles in your body that are called, it's called volume muscles. S stomach, forearms, and calves. The reason why they're called volume muscles is because they're used in our everyday life and they can take a lot of stress. So in order to develop these areas, you have to spend some time on them. So we're just going to do just a couple of exercises just to demonstrate, and then she can come back and answer all questions of that. Oh, I can answer all the questions. We'll start, we'll start with one of the most difficult exercises. That is, and it's not designed for everyone, but um, if, when you, if you're halfway fit, you can do this. So this is called hanging knee up right here. And see, I keep the paper, I keep the paper, I keep the paper in my, in my, in my knee up, uh, because what we don't want to do is, you know, when you go to the gym, thousands of armpit goes in, goes in here, and you don't know what, what germs people may have, so I just either wear long sleeves, or I put a piece of paper in there, so that'll help you just, just to keep the germs down just a little bit, okay? They don't, they don't have to see the machine, they can see you hanging. They can see you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Can you see her? I can't. Yes. You don't need to see you. I see what they see. This you just hangs. The chair is right. I know. I was about to fall out. The chair is right. Okay. The chair down is going to be in the way. Okay. Well, you can that's, that's, this is the problem with her. Always <laughs> have to be doing what she wants to do. Well, I, I don't want to fall. You want to <laughs> fall. Okay. Well, Let's try to hang. Knee up. I'm trying to keep you out of the way. Leave the chair alone. Can you see her? Good. There you go. This is knee ups. You want to put your armpits in here, but you don't want to put your arms so far in there that you're pulling, that you're pulling on, that you're pulling on your armpits. Okay. Put your knees up as high as you can. Keep your tension on your upper body to keep you from swinging back and forth, and you stretch your legs all the way down, all the way down. I should work her really hard so you can see. <laughs> So you, can hear, so you can hear a whiner. Because <laughs> she's a very good whiner. Pull them up. And rest. Good. That's called hanging knee ups. That develops the lower portion of the stomach. Come on down. Come on down. Good. That's, that's one. That's, that's knee ups. Next, we're going to do what's called a kneeling crunch. Kneeling crunch is right here. Hey, Bridget. Hey, Margo. Right here. Yeah. Move back. It's like that. Grab the handles. Kneeling crunch develops the upper stomach and the lower stomach. They, they, they can see you. They're going to kneel down. You want to be as far back as you can comfortably, and you're going to pull with your, pull with your, pull with your arms and your upper body and bow. And just bow. Holding your stomach as tight as you can. And bow. And bow. And bow. And bow. And bow. And bow, and bow, and bow, and rest. Yeah, I can feel that. Now, again, again, the motion doesn't make the exercise effective. You tensing the muscle while you're exercising makes, makes, makes exercise work. You can also, this exercise can be done from the standing position too. If, you, if you're a little bit advanced, you can stand here like so, with your core tight and bow, like so. 
Some people have bad knees and they can't, they can't kneel down. Same motion. That's, kneel, that's kneeling. We can't see her arms. <laughs> It'd be all right. We're not, we're not working arms. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to move over to a, decl to, to a decline sit-up. Go to the decline sit-up now. Okay. Now, there's several exercises we can do in a decline sit-up. We can do what's called a, basically an isolated Russian twist. I'm going to move the camera just a little bit so, so you can see her. There. We're going to do what's called a Russian twist. You're just going to sit there, put tension on the abs, stand tight, and just twist. 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 This strengthens the core and works the obliques. Now stop. We're going to go from that to what's called a momentum sit-up. Fall back and sit-up. Fall back. Put my arms on my head. Yes, absolutely. Fall back. Swing up, up, it's like that. Now again, what, it, just doing the motion is not going to work the stomach. Doing the motion while you're tensing the abs, that works the entire upper and lower stomach. Also, it works the armpits and the back of the arms when you're using an actual cool ball like okay, this, okay? Okay, that's not my abs. Yeah. What the purpose of the extra weight? Yeah, core, core ball. Well, the, the ball gives you momentum to sit up. See, try to do it without it. It's a little, it's a little bit harder. But then, I'm in such good shape. No. The, <laughs> heavier, the, the heavier the ball, the easier the motion. But you, again, when you, when you press the time, you want to make an exercise what's called a functional motion where you're doing, where, where it works more than one area, like the, the momentum sit up works the abs and it works the, the, the back of the arms and the armpits. Okay. Good. And rest. Good. There you go. You have, we just worked the entire abs and I'm going to do something real simple. That works the obliques and some simple little things you can do at home. Go ahead and stand up. The simple little things you can do at home when, you, when you're washing dishes or you're watching TV, just stand up and do side benders, leaning from side to side. Again, holding your stomach as tight as you can. You, you know, you're not totally rocking. That's good. Oh. It's just good isolation. A lot of, we're not rocking from side to side. We're, we're actually squeezing on each side. Squeezing. Squeezing while you're holding your stomach as tight as you, as tight as you can. You can do that anytime. You don't, have, you don't have to be in the gym to do See, that. See, one day, oh, hey, Cornell. Oh, hey. One day I'm going to be bold enough to show y'all my six pack. Not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> When Ira does that, I'll do that. Then so I won't have that won't ever I, I have happen. A six, I have a six pack. <laughs> I do too. You don't. Let's show them. Let's show them. <laughs> Let's show them. Let's you show have a four pack, four point two. Four point two. Yeah, I do. Yeah, just a four pack. Okay. So, those are creative exercises that you can do for your free stomach. Okay, I really felt that one the most. Mm. That's the, 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 the kneeling crunches, yeah. Kneeling crunches? But uh, probably because you had a whole lot of weight on it. It's not a whole lot of weight. On the kneeling crunches, Holly, when you do that one, the weight has to offset your body weight. It's not your fall on your face and break your nose. Okay. Here. Here. Okay. So, that's, that's stomach. So, on you now. Well, don't let it be on me. Um, I, how, okay, so how often should we be doing these? Again, stomach, forearm, and calves. They're called volume muscles. These muscles can be trained every every day. The stomach should be trained every day. Okay, so you, whole, you can't whole, just get like the, we can do that every day without hurting ourselves. Every every day, you you can't hurt the stomach, you can't hurt the forearms, and you can't hurt the calves. They they can take everything you you you're walking on your calves all day, and you're using your forearms with everything you do, and using the stomach with, every time you're functioning. So shouldn't shouldn't be a problem at all. But again, there's there, there's more exercises that you can do. These are the ones we choose to show you this, uh, this evening, okay? Okay. Well, thank you, Ira. We're going to keep it short and sweet because it's my workout day. It's my training day. <laughs> so We should leave the camera on there. You can see how much she, she doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> see? 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 Not she telling the truth. That's she doesn't like it. You don't, you don't. You don't like it at all. You see, I, every, time I, every time she finishes, whew, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. That's and it could be 14 minutes. <laughs> 
But this brother maximizes 14 minutes. We're so. supposed to. And so when you go in the gym, that's, that's, that's good. Okay. Don't go in there, set a time frame and to get your workout done. If someone's on a machine that you're after, do, do you, go ahead and get your stomach done. <clears throat> or bring a mat <clears throat> and put the mat right beside there. You need some water? No, but <clears throat> so you can keep So you can keep moving. Person Guerra in the house! He just got selected. <laughs> okay, congratulations. That's right, that diamond's gonna look beautiful. Absolutely. Does he have abs? As a matter of fact, I think he does. That ain't my man, I like so that. I ain't been looking, but yes, he is in it's okay. excellent shape. It's, it's okay to look. Well, he's in excellent shape. Good, good deal, good deal. Right. All right, that's it. Okay, so maximize the gym time. Don't get in there talking to my, ooh, I worked out an hour when you talked for yes. 40 minutes. Anything yes. else for us in the gym? No, just, it just, it should, exercise should be a part of every, every one of our lives. Not, not for just for vanity, but for, for just for health's sake. Oh, he says he does, yes. Got to say, I mean, nice. yes, I got abs. <laughs> okay, Drew. Spend money on health now, or spend money on medication later. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Hey, I already can't see you. Come sit right here. No, I don't want to sit right there. Your head is That's, gone. I, I didn't know I was head. <laughs> okay, I got to go take care of my trainer. He's trying to be. Gee, where is it? My wife has control issues. No, she doesn't. You do. Stop. <laughs> Okay, listen, thank you for joining us. Let's work those abs every day. We are not going to get a cramp. Can you get a cramp in your abs? Oh, yeah. Abs? Some muscles can get a cramp anywhere. Okay, all right. Well, it's time for my workout, so I have to go get mine in, and hopefully he don't try to take it out on I'm going to leave the camera rolling so I have something to show you next week. <laughs> Until next time, take real good care of yourself.